Hello there, a very good evening and welcome. You are tuned on to TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, we are in the hunt for that overall champion and to find out who is the best out of the best. And well, this is the platform where a lot of knowledge sharing, a lot of techniques and also a lot of brainstorming goes through and a lot of creativity displayed by the students who come on the stage of Pentathlon. So with that being said, it's time for us to, to introduce the schools. That's right. And we have today in the house a girls' school versus the boys' school. So we'll, we'll break the tradition and this time introduce the boys' school first. Shall we, Joel? Let's start off with the boys. All right. Okay. So all the way from Kandy, please give it up to Virdhyata College. Well, the boys have taken their position on stage and we need to find out who the opponents are. Well, it's time for us to get introduced to the opponents. Let's all put our hands together for Musius College, Colombo. Well, both teams have taken their positions on stage and uh, just to start off things and set the platform, let's quickly have a little bit of a chat to bet the captains. Now the boys got on first, it was boys first, let's move on with the girls. And ask Venduri from Musius, how is your preparation like? Um, we've uh, practiced a lot and uh, we hope to give a fair and good game for our opponents. A fair and good game is what Venduri says on behalf of her team, Musius College. Well, all the best with what he just said. And, and let's right ask here boys. we have from Vidyartha College, Candy, the captain, Kavindu. How have all of you been gearing up for this match? We have practiced a lot and we will give our parents a good game as well. All right, that sounds great. Can we please put our hands together for both the teams here? Well, we had a chat with the two captains and it's time for us to get introduced to our elite panel of judges to judge this match which we will witness in a little while. So let's start off with getting our judges introduced. Let's put our hands together for Nadisha Darshani, Vice Principal working with the Ministry of Education. <laughs> also joining on the panel with us is Samantha Dasanayak, English medium teacher, attorney at law. <laughs> well, we did all the formalities but there remains one big formality which is the decider to go ahead with the game. Yes, indeed. And as always, we start off things here with the tossing of the coin. To do the honours of that, we'd now like to invite both the captains to come forward, as well invite one of our judges to please come and supervise the toss as well. So we've got Venduri and Kavindu representing each of their schools and it's time for us to move on with the toss. Well, Nothing new needs to be said about the toss. Both of you know how it works. It's TV1 on one side and Pentathlon on the other side. Let's ask uh, Kavindu whether he would like to go with TV1 or Pentathlon. I will be going with TV1. TV1, which means? Pentathlon for us. Pentathlon for you. Okay, let's see what happens. It is on the favouring side. TV1 it is. So Kavindu, you won the toss. And what is your decision? Uh, we will be letting our opponents go first. Opponents first? Yes. Why that way? Uh, we will have to follow up there. Okay. They like to give you all a good run. Are you ready to accept the challenge? Yes, we are. Okay, so let's start off with shaking hands. <laughs> but the toss was on the favouring side for the boys from Vidyar, the college. However, they decided and they said that we like to give them a follow-up, which means Muses will be going in first with all of the matches and we have to get things started here today. That's which right. means we move into our first round. And that is called Balance. Your quiz. In our first round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. These players then have a challenge before them to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. And they have to do all of this while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat. 
Now, each of the questions has five points to it if they answer it correctly. If they answer the fifth question correctly, they get 10 points. However, if they drop the ball even once, they will be disqualified from taking on further questions. Well, there you go. You heard it for yourself. Those are the rules and regulations of round one, which is balance your quiz. So we need to start off with Benduri, who lost the toss. But however, the opponents decided that they go first in each and every round. Benduri, who are your three core players? It will, it will be me, Chandri and Nevanya. Okay, and who is coming in first? Me. The captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> so Benduri, the rules are as such that you get 30 seconds and this is what you've got to tackle with. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you've got three, two, one, start. Thriller is a music album created by which artist? Michael Jackson. Correct. Which country has the longest border? Um, USA and Canada. Wrong, it's China. Name the longest river in Ethiopia. Blue Nile. Correct. Toronto Raptors is a professional sports team famous for which sport? Baseball. Wrong, it's basketball. Name the street in New York City that's famous for theatres and stage plays. Broadway. Correct. Your questions are up. Well, that's how Venduri went ahead with starting off the game today on this platform. Let's move on to Kavindu and ask uh, him who are your three core players. Uh, Iduranga, Sandun and Bhavendra will be coming up from our team. And who is coming in first? Iduranga. Come back. You're with a big smile. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds to tackle and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Hotel California is a music album released by which musical group? Eagles. Correct. Indonesia is made up of how many main islands? Four. Wrong, it's five. Euphrates is the longest river in which country? Iraq. Correct. Toronto Maple Leafs is a pro sports team famous for which sport? Basketball. Wrong, it's ice hockey. Name the street in New York City famous for international finance and trading. It's Wall Street. Your time is up. Once again, Benduri, all eyes on you. Who are you sending in? Sanri. Come down. Are you ready? Okay, 30 seconds set on the clock and your time starts 3, 2, 1. Daniel Vittori played for which country's national team? Australia. Wrong, it's New Zealand. President Abraham Lincoln represented which political party? Republican. Correct. What is the capital of Bahrain? Uh, pass. It's Manama. Who directed Lord of the Rings film series? Uh, Steven Spielberg. Wrong, it's Peter Jackson. In which year was modern European Union founded? 1997. Wrong, it's 1993. The questions are up. Well, that's how she faced that challenge. Once again, to the boys, who is coming in? Bhavendra will be coming up. Come down. There you go. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Kevin Peterson played for which country's national team? England. Correct. Name the first president of India. Pass. It's Rajendra Prasad. What is the capital of Bulgaria? Pass. It's Sofia. Who is the creator of the Star Wars film series? James Cameron. Wrong, it's George Lucas. Hundred Years War took place between which two countries? Pakistan, India. Wrong, it's England and France. Your time is up. Okay, so it's uh, the chance for the final player for Muses to come down. It'll be Nevanya. There you go. 30 seconds is set on the clock. 3, 2, 1. How many players can play for a team in polo at a time? Four. Correct. Lama is native to which continent? Um, Madagascar. South America is the correct answer. Your, yours is wrong. What is the official language of Bahamas? English. English is correct. Character Ophelia is found in which play? Um, Hamlet. Correct. Rolls Royce automobiles are made in which country? USA. Wrong, it's UK. Your questions are up. We're down to the final player from Vidarta. Who's coming down? Sunning will be coming up. Come forward. You two got 30 seconds to deal with. 
and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. How many players can play for a team in water polo at a time? Seven. Correct. Name the mythical abominable snowman believed to be living in the Himalayas. Yes. It's, it's, that's wrong answer, it's Yeti. Apart from English, which other language is official in Brunei? Spain. Wrong, it's Malay. Character Simon Sashava is found in which play? Pass. It's Concussion Chalk Circle. Ferrari cars are made in which country? France. Correct answer is Italy. Your time is up. You saw for yourself how both schools fared, but we need to bring you all the excitement with the results and see which school is leading at the end of round one. Well, we have more exciting rounds lined up, but before that, we'll head on to a short break. This is TV One Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back. So, we told you before heading on to a break that we'll have you all the results at the end of round one and also that we will introduce you a very exciting round. Well, it's time for us to first read out the results at the end of round one. Well, in the house we have a girls' school versus a boys' school. Let's get started with the scores for the boys' school first. With the other college, Candy, in the first round, they scored themselves 20 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from New Seas College, Colombo, have scored themselves 40 points. Well, it is a 20-40 uh, mark there, which is a difference of about 20 marks. And things could change when we proceed with the rest of the rounds. But first, let us introduce you, round two, which is Express. To impress. In our second round, Express to Impress, each of our teams will be picking out a story lead and they will then have to use their imagination and creativity to come up with a really solid storyline and impress the judges with their diction, vocabulary and acting skills. So without further ado, let's find out what the girls from Musius College Colombo pick out for themselves. This is the topic. A gang of monkeys made their home in a mountain slope. When winter came, it brought not only severe cold, but also heavy rains. Unable to stand the cold, and then they have to fill in the rest. And then what happens? We are to find out a lot of animal behaviour is expected. We were discretion not advised. Okay, so you got two minutes to deal with and your time starts now. <laughs> Why is it so cold? I'm shivering. Yeah. Oh, 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 human, human, human. We should see. They, 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 they know how to keep themselves warm. Let's go. Oh my God! It's so cold here. I think I should light a fire. Oh, it's not working. Oh, finally, so warm. Oh. I think someone is calling me. I think I should go there. What is this red thing? It's so warm. Take it, take it, take it. Let's take it. Let's take it. I got it. I got it. Oh, my, my tail, my tail. Oh, my tail. It burns. It burns. Her tail. It's burning. It's red. It's raining. Oh, it went down. Understand? Okay, we shall never, ever, ever touch things that we have no idea about. Okay? 
We promise, we Father. We should go. learn more about things yes. before we. We we'll just keep oh. home by cuddling together like a oh. family. Oh. Yes, yeah. Father. Oh. Yes. Thank oh. you, Father. So warm now, isn't it? Oh. Well, that was indeed a very entertaining act because Shma, did you feel like you were inside a studio or did you feel like you went to the zoo? I think I went to the zoo. They acted so convincingly well as mountain gorillas, right? But sometimes these uh, monkeys forget that they are monkeys and they get the human behaviour. Some are standing, suddenly she see, remembers that she's a monkey and she does this. <laughs> but anyway, let's put our hands together for that splendid act by Museos. Okay, so we need to find out whether the boys from Vidyartha will give an equally better or good or maybe not so good. We need to find out. Challenge accepted? Yes. Challenge is accepted. So let's see what topic you pick out. Two sparrows, husband and wife, built a nest on a banyan tree where the female sparrow laid eggs. One afternoon, a wild elephant came to the tree seeking shelter from the sun. Unable to bear the heat, the tusker suddenly went berserk and snapped a big branch of the tree, crushing the sparrow's eggs in the nest. And then... Papa bird, <laughs> our children's. Yes, birdie. We haven't done anything wrong to anyone. Our children, <laughs> our future. Yes, let's we go away from there. Yes, let's go away from here. Some may are safe. Help me! Someone help me! Help me! Someone help me! Help me! Someone help me! Look at! Look at! There is an elephant! Like cover! Cute children! Let's help him! Come! Let's remove the... Let's remove the veins! Thank you very much! My baby elephant, what happened to you? Are you okay? Oh, Papa, I was trapped here and these two uh, kind birds saved my life. I am the eyewitness of all these ironic things. Big elephant, you to destroy the egg eggs of these poor birds, but they saved your son's life. Oh. Very sorry, very sorry. I done a big mistake. Okay, very sorry, very sorry. And also, we want to care about others' life and others. So me and Krishna both put a lot of humor watching uh, the act while just being seated around. <laughs> Well, wasn't it just interesting? It was. It was very cute. The but I was when 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 we used to interpret an elephant, an elephant, we do it in a different way. We have to touch our nose. But then <laughs> that elephant was not able to go this way. Like <laughs> it was like I was stretching exercises. <laughs> Try touching your nose. You can't. Ah, that sounds. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for that actor. Sir. Okay, right. So with that coming to an end, we won't be reading out you the results because the results will have to be given out by our elite panel of judges. So let's move on to their decision. Congratulations for all the presenters here today and both teams performs very well, real well. And uh, Musius College, they have shown good facial expressions as well as good coordination was there among the members. Uh, and while the uh, Vidyartha College maintain a good stage management, and uh, all in all, according to the criteria, Vidyartha College Candy has scored 65 marks. <laughs> Musius College Colombo has scored 75 marks. 
Well, you have the decision to yourself. Uh, so the judges have given that fair and just opinion, which means uh, Musius is scoring high points and with Yarta, there's a little drawback in their points. But let's find out what the points table looked like at the end of two rounds. Yes, indeed. We'll start off with the scores from Vidyartha College Candy. Their total score at the end of two rounds is 85 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from UCS College Colombo at the end of two rounds have scored themselves 115 points. So Musius has been able to surpass the 100 marks, but however the boys are shortfall in a few marks to get into the hundreds, things could change because we are about to progress to round three, which is called what? The basket. In round three, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. They have a challenge before them, which is to guess a word that has 12 alphabets in it with several of the alphabets locked. Now, in order for them to unlock an alphabet, they will have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gets them 10 points, and if they can correctly guess the word, that gives them 70 points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of round three, which is called Word the Basket. So let's get things started by asking uh, the girls from Musius to pick out a number. This is word number eight. So, Muses College uh, picked out number eight. I would like to first ask the captain, who are your three co-players for this match? It will be me, Nevanya and Tisri. Okay, and uh, we need to see what the hidden word is in number eight. So, you've got two spaces E, two spaces T, one space E, Two spaces, P, and another space at the end. Captain, who will you be sending in first? Um, it will be Nevanya. And what is that letter she would like to unlock? Uh, the first bank. Okay, here you go. Try your luck. Coming in next? It will be me. You are coming, and what is that space you would like unlocked? The letter after the second D. Okay, here you go. <laughs> well, that was an unsuccessful attempt, but you have a task to do. Who is coming in next? It will be Tisari. And what is the letter she would like unlocked? The letter after the first E. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Captain, you need to decide. Are you going to decide what the word is or are you going to send in another player? We'll be sending in the fourth player. And You're sending in the fourth player. And what is that face she would like to unlock? The letter after T. Here you go. No points and also a deduction. Captain, what's your decision? Are you going to send in your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Are you going to decide what the word is? We, we are. Ready? You're going to decide what the word is. Okay, can you spell it out to us, please? Uh, it's what is the word? The word is chemotherapy. Okay. Uh, the letters are C H E M O T H E. R A P Y. Are you sure that's the correct word? Chemotherapy? It's a guess. It's a guess. But you're, you're the one who found the word. It's four of them. You all have no clue. You all never heard that word before. Yes. You have? What's the spelling? Um, is that right what they just said? Chemotherapy is the correct word? Yeah, I think so. You think so? Well, confidence levels are at still to find out whether that is the correct word. Let's find out what the word is. 
Chemotherapy is the correct word. Well, congratulating Muses, we need to move on to the boys and ask Kavindu, the captain, to pick out a number to proceed with the game. This is word number five. Well, Kavindu picked out uh, number five and I would like to ask you, who are your three co-players? Bhavendra, Salun and Dulaj. Okay, so let's find out what the word five is. You got two spaces T, two spaces I, a space A, two spaces N, and another space at the end. Kavindu, who is coming in first? Okay. And what is the letter he would like unlocked? Uh, the first blank. Okay, come down. <laughs> well done, well done. Okay, Kavindu, who is coming in next? Dulaj. Okay, Dulaj is coming and what is the space he would like unlocked? The space after T. Okay, Dulaj. Here you go. Okay, Kavindu, I would like to ask you who is your next player? Sanjay and Mildi coming up. Okay, and what is that uh, letter he would like to unlock? Uh, the blank after the second I. Okay, Sandu, try your lock. Here you go. Well done. Kavindu, you have to decide, are you going to send in another player or are you going to decide what the word is? You need to make your decisions quickly. You need to make your decisions quickly. Are you going to decide what the word is, Kavindu, or are you going to send in your next player? We'll be sending a fourth player. We'll You're sending your fourth player. And who is that going to be? Okay, and Dragon. what is that letter he would like unlocked? You need to make your decisions The letter quickly. before second time. What are you going to do next? Are you going to... You have to decide what the word is? Or what are you going to do? Kavindu, you need to make your decisions. Because you are the captain. You are the captain. I'll be taking... I'll be telling the word. You'll be telling what the word is. Okay, can you, can you spell it for us please? I-N-T-O-X-I Say the word first. Say the word and then... Intoxication. Okay, and how does that go? I N T O X I C A T I O N S. A little bit slow. I N T O X I C A T I O N S. You sure about the word? Are you sure about that word? You sure about the word? Okay, let's find out what the word is. That is the wrong answer. You won't be given points for this. Well, that's how the game moves on. And it was on the favoring side, the Musius and the boys were not able to find out what those letters were behind the missing spaces. Well, that's how the game moves on and we need to know what the scores are like at the end of three rounds. But we'll have all those details after this short break. Stay tuned. This is TV One Pentathlon Season Two. Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season Two, and we are back with the results at the end of three very interesting and challenging rounds. Let's find out how the boys from Vidyatha College Candy are faring thus far. At the end of three rounds, they have a score of 105 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from UCS College Colombo at the end of round three, their score is 195 points. Boys have 
somehow been able to surpass the 100 and the girls are nearing to the mark of 200. We need to find out how things are to be played in the next two rounds. And let's move on to the fourth round which is called Target. Your knowledge. In our fourth round, each of our teams gets to select three core players. These players will then have to step up with a dart in their hand and aim it to any one of the colours on a spinning wheel. Each of these colours represent a particular subject from which they will then be asked a question. Each correct answer gives them 25 points. If they choose to double an answer correctly, they will be given 50 points. However, if they choose to double an answer incorrectly, there will be negative marking. Well, you heard the rules and regulations in round 4, targeted knowledge. But let's find out what these colours represent. So on blue, we got sports and games. Yellow represents art and entertainment. Red is for science and technology. Orange for history. Green for geography. Purple for literature. And white, the lucky one, we call it. It is Trump, where you could select any of the topics which I just mentioned. Let's start off with round four, targeted knowledge by shifting her attention to Benduri and asking her who her three co-players are for this round. Benduri, who um, are your three co-players? It will be me, uh, Chandri and Nivanya. And who's coming in first? Me. Come forward. <laughs> the time is in three, two, one. It is green, which is geography. You've got geography. Would you like to go in for a double? No. All right, let's take a look at your visual. Here's your question. This circle in London is the British equivalent of the New York City Times Square and is a major tourist attraction and an entertainment centre. Name it. Your options are A. Tooting B. Piccadilly C. Hyde Park or D. Greenwich. Your time is ticking. Your time is ticking. C. Hyde Park. You're not sure, not sure, not sure. That's what I heard you say. All right. You said C. Hyde Park. The correct answer is B. Piccadilly, that is the incorrect answer. Guess by the Museites, but let's move on to Vidyartha and check out from the captain, Kavindu, who are your three core players for this? Me, Dula, Jan, Bavendra. And who's coming in first? Me. Come down. Okay, Kavindu, three, two, one. It is green, which means geography. You've got geography, would you like to go in for a double? Yes, all right, they're taking the risk, so let's take a look at your visual. This statue named the Motherland Calls is one of the tallest statues in the world and the tallest statue in Russia and Europe. In which city is it located? Your options are A, Saratov, B. Moscow C. Volgograd or D. St. Petersburg Your clock is ticking. Time is ticking. D. St. Petersburg D. St. Petersburg you know that this is a question for a double. I think everybody in this audience knows that if they answer incorrectly, there is going to be negative points. You answered D, St. Petersburg. The correct answer is C, Volgograd. I'm afraid there is negative points for this answer. Let's move on to the Museites and ask Benduri who is coming in next. It will be Chandri. Come down. Three, two, one. 
It is blue, which means sports and games. You got sports. Would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. He was the first bowler to take 300 test wickets. Name him. Your options are A. Fred Truman B. Bob Willis C. Lance Gibbs or D. Dennis Lilly It's A. Fred Truman A. Fred Truman How sure are you about this answer? She said that so <laughs> All the blame is on her so if it's wrong it's all her fault You said A. Fred Truman That is the correct answer! Well done for that. Let's see whether Vidarthi is also able to giving answers just like that in a go. Let's ask the captain who is coming in next. Dulaj. Dulaj. Okay, come down. Three, two, one. A hard hit on orange, which is history. You've got history. Let's take a look at your visual. He was the sixth premier of the People's Republic of China, serving as China's head of government for a decade between 2003 and 2013. Name him. Your options are A. Hu Jintao B. Ben Jiabao C. Jiang Zimin or D, Hu Yaobang? Time Time's ticking. ticking. Five seconds left. A. A, Hu Jintao. Are you sure about this answer? Yes. You're sure? Why do you look so troubled then? Well, you said A, Hu Jintao. The correct answer is B, Ben Jiaba. I'm afraid your answer was incorrect. Well, another unsuccessful attempt by the Vidyarthans, but that's how the game moves on. Let's see how the girls fare. Who is coming in last for this round? It's Nemanya. Nemanya, come down. <laughs> Nemanya is the competent one when it comes to sports. How sporty are you? Very much? Okay. Three, two, one. It's orange history. You've got history. Would you like to go in for a double? No. All right. Let's take a look at your visual. He was the king of Jordan from the abdication of his father, King Salal on 11th August 1952 until his death in 1999. Name this king. Your options are A. Hussein B. Abdullah C. Al Fayyad or D. Hamad C. Al Fayyad C. Al Fayyad Are you sure? No. A guess there. The answer is C. Al Fayyad. The correct answer is A. Hussein. That's the incorrect answer. Get this answer right. The final turn to you, Kavindu. Who is coming in? Bavendu is coming. Come down. Three, two, one. It's orange, which is history, which you already received, which means you have to go in with another charm. Three, two, one. Blue is for sports and games. You've got sports? Let's take a look at your visual. Name the Cuban amateur boxer who is one of only three boxers to win three Olympic gold medals and BBC described him as Cuba's greatest boxer once its most famous figure 
after Fidel Castro. Your options are A. Theophilo Stevenson B. Lazio Park C. Felix Sabon or D. Pete Redimusher You've answered A. Theophila Stevenson. Are you sure about your answer? No, they're not sure. They've answered A. Theophilo Stevenson. And that is the correct answer. Well, finally, uh, the boys were able to clinch that point for their school. The girls were unsuccessful in their final attempt, but nevertheless, we need to know what the scores are like at the end of four rounds. There may be pluses or minuses. Let's find out what the scores are at the end of four rounds. Here are the scores at the end of four rounds. In the fourth round, the boys of Vidyata College Candy have scored themselves 10 points, bringing the total up to 115 points. Meanwhile, the girls from Musius College Colombo in the fourth round scored themselves 25 points, bringing their total up to 220 points. Well, there seems to be a massive gap between the two schools concerning points. But however, things could change because we got a very rapid fire round, which we call the Buzz Around. And final round, the buzzer round, which is a round that can make or break the fortune of either of these schools. The rules are very simple. We have 10 questions and each question has 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. The United Nations Security Council has how many permanent member countries? Five. Five is the correct answer. <laughs> question number two. Which is the largest island in the Pacific Ocean? Time's up. The correct answer is Melanesia or New Guinea. Question number three. Who is the Nobel Peace Prize winning president of Colombia? Benduri. Juan Santos. That is the incorrect answer. Do we have an answer from this side? They don't seem to have an answer. The correct answer is Manuel Santos. Question number four. Alternative international news channel Al Jazeera's headquarters are based in which city? Qatar. Nevanya? Qatar. That's the correct answer. Question number five. Professor Moriarty is the arch enemy of which fictional literary character? Minonda. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number six. Who won the Best Director Award at this year's Oscars? Chanuri. Guillermo del Toro. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number seven. Facebook headquarters are located in which US city? Time's up. The correct answer is Menlo Park. Question number eight. Singapore International Airport won the Best Airport in the World Award for the fifth consecutive year this time. It is known by which name? Benduri? Changi Airport. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number nine. Name the only Olympic Games in which the distance were measured in yards 1904 Saint Louis. That's the correct answer. <laughs> and this is the final question. Question number 10. Who is the founder of the international news channel Fox News? Time's up. The correct answer is Rupert Murdoch. Well, round five is 
a pretty good one for the Museites because they seem to have had that rapid fire answers coming out. Well, we need to see what the scores are like at the end of five very interesting rounds. And also, here's a reminder that we'll be awarding that special title. So stay tuned, keep it locked. This is TV One Pet Jackson Season Watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2, and we just finished five really interesting rounds where we saw Musi's College take on the boys from Vidyata College, Tandy. And it's time for us to reveal the results. But before that, first and foremost, we will need to find out who the Pent Athlete of the day is. That's right, it's right about time for us to figure out and find out who the Pent Athlete is. And it's over to our elite panel of judges to reveal the result. Uh, all the computers performed well. So considering overall performance and the marks they have obtained, it is declared that Banturi of Museums College Colombo is the best paint athlete today. Well, you heard it for yourself. Banturi is the paint athlete from Museums College here in this match. Congratulations to you. A well-deserved title, we all would agree with that. With that being said, it's time for us to find out who is that champion school in this match. Most of you must be already having your guesses, but we never know until the final scores are read out. So let's check out the final scores. The final scores are like this. At the end of five rounds, Vidyati College can be unfortunately didn't score themselves any points in the last round and therefore their total remains at 115 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from UCS College Colombo in the fifth round, they scored themselves 55 points and that brings us to the winning total today of 275 points. Well, all cheers in the house from UCS College Colombo, but nevertheless, we must not forget the effort put in by the opponents with their college candy. Your participation is indeed highly appreciated, and you too gave a good game. But that's how the game moves on because one school needs not be very great than the other school. Otherwise, if all are winners in this match, it's a problem for all of us. But nevertheless, Remember, you're a champion yourself because you took part in Pentathlon. With that being said, it's time for us to move on to the presentation of the title certificates to the Pentathlete and also the school who won't be joining with us in the coming round. So let me invite our elite panel of judges to come on stage to assist us with the distribution. So to start off with the presentation today, let us first and foremost put our hands together for the pentathlete in this very exciting match. Let's put our hands together for Benduri from Music College Columbia. <laughs> well, we congratulate Benduri from Music College for bagging the title of pentathlete. It's time for us to recognize the tireless efforts put in by the opponents and Let's put our hands together for the team of Vidyarth College, Kendi. <laughs> well, it's time for us to wind things here for today. Well, we believe that if you were watching us, maybe on your TV screen or even online, that you got yourself a bag of knowledge filling all those it's in bits and knowing what matters. Once again, hats off to the team from Vidyarta College for taking part and also a major, big, huge congratulations to Mises College for that great effort put in and also we will be seeing you all soon in the coming games. With that being said, Trishma, let's wrap things up for today. Yes, indeed. We'll see you all next week. Same time, same channel. Don't forget to tune in to TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Two.